Hello, my name is Johan Falk. This is the first of a few videos where I'm going to show you a module called Rules Paints. And it's found on Drupal.org as usual with the project name Rules underscore Paints. Uh, it allows you to use uh, rules components in panels, which can be pretty useful as we will see in the upcoming videos. Uh, I'm going to use a feature that I've put in the sandbox. Uh, it's linked from the Rules Paints page here, but you might also be able to um, memorize the node number. It's 1931906. And if you find this uh, sandbox, you can also go to simplytest.me and run this yourself without having to install it on your computer locally uh, because of the awesome service found at simplytest.me. Okay, so in this video, first video, I'm just going to show you the setup of this uh, example feature that I'm using so you know what kind of uh, project site I'm emulating here. So let's log in here like that and I'm going to enable features because that's not enabled yet. Okay, so let's enable features. All the stuff I'm using is exported into a feature. In the feature there's also some commented out code that we will have a look at in the last uh, video in this series. Uh, okay, rules paints demo is being enabled here and this will take a few more seconds so it's tea drinking time. There. Uh, so this feature will set up two content types, one view and two panel variants. As we will see uh, in content, add content, I have two new content types. One is called project, one is called task. Because this feature emulates a, a very simple um, project management site. So I'm going to start a project here and I'm going to call it um, presentation at Drupal Camp Stockholm. Let's have some dummy text here and just save. The projects are containers more or less for, for tasks. So this is a project, and I'm going to add a task or two. So let's add a task. First task will be come up with an, a plausible example site. So this means, in my case, coming up with an idea of what kind of site to use in, in my examples here. This has a size, three priority, status say active let's see oh active is good owner let's put this to administrator let's not have an owner actually uh, and it has to have a project so these are integer fields this is a list uh, text list field this is a user reference using the entity reference module this is also using entity reference referring to a project save so we have tasks here with some extra information um, like this uh, with stuff and on the project page all the re reload here all the tasks belonging to this project will be displayed and this is managed by panels if I edit panel here you can see I'm overriding the node template the standard node page and I have one override for project one override for task and the project contains the project node and then a view. This is a content pane view. Let's go back here. Uh, the task is also uh, displayed using panels. Uh, nothing very fancy here. I'm just putting all the uh, all the node content in the left side of a, a two-column panel. Because we're going to put some other stuff in the right side here. Eventually. All right. So this is the site setup. And uh, in the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how to use, uh, well, I'm going to introduce um, uh, Views Bulk Operations and show a bit of how you can use rules components in Views Bulk Operations. See you there. Bye.